Prince Harry revealed in May he got to know one of his celebrity neighbors over the past year, Orlando Bloom. The pair, the Duke of Sussex revealed, keep in touch to alert one another whenever they spot paparazzi in the area. This new friendship was revealed a few months before HBO Max released its new series The Prince. This adult animated show portrays the day-to-day -day life at the palace as seen through the lenses of a heavily fictionalized and snarky character inspired by Prince George. In the show, created by Gary Gennetti, the eight-year-old is portrayed as spoiled and full of sassy remarks for all his close relatives. The voice cast features several Hollywood stars, with Mr. Bloom voicing his royal neighbor. Mr. Bloom's decision to take part in the show stunned royal commentator Richard Eden. The Daily Mail diary editor wrote on Twitter, Strange world where Prince Harry and his Montecito neighbor Orlando Bloom send each other text messages moaning about intrusion yet Bloom stars in a TV show mocking an eight-year-old child, Prince George. Mr. Bloom confessed he was initially on the fence over taking part in the voice cast of The Prince. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in August 2020, the actor said, Initially, I was like, hmm, how do I feel about this, because I am a British boy who's very proud of my roots. I understand how the royal family is loved by some and loathed by others, and I've always understood it as part of my heritage and background. However, his wife, singer Katy Perry, convinced him to join the cast, saying it was genius. Mr. Bloom said he did not know Prince Harry when he signed the contract. Revealing he has since met him, he added, This guy is so nice, and I think he's got a great sense of humor. I hope he maintains that through this because they're sort of on a pedestal. We're showing real adoration to them in one form or another. I try to justify it, because quite frankly, if I am honest, it's not like me to poke fun at anyone but it is done with affection. Prince Harry briefly discussed his relationship with Mr. Bloom when taking part in one episode of the Armchair Expert podcast by Dax Shepard. Among other topics he touched upon, the Duke of Sussex spoke about the intrusion by paparazzi he has been experiencing in California. While conceding life in Montecito is much quieter than in Los Angeles, he then revealed, Two days ago Orlando Bloom sent me a message, because he is just down the road and we sort of keep in contact because of the paparazzi. He sent me a photograph which his security got of this long-haired guy with a beanie on, ear pods on with his massive camera lying in the back of his 4x4 truck, blacked out windows. A woman driving who did the peace sign sitting there as a distraction and he is laid down in the back of this truck taking photographs of them out with their kid. The decision to focus a satirical show on a child has left many social media users, royal watchers and TV critics baffled. The Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer wrote on Twitter, I suppose it goes with the territory and the royals tend to believe in artistic freedom. But lampooning a little boy will not go down well with some. Would a U.S. company commission a similar series about a U.S. president's child? The HBO Max show, released yesterday, begins with a disclaimer stating people and events featured in the satirical series are entirely fictional. Mr. Gennetti, who also voices fictional Prince George in the parody, explained his take on the character saying, 
It's never meant to be anything other than to give a laugh and be silly and funny. It's never meant to be anything that's mean. It's all about George's insane take on the world and his wanting to be a star.